Hello everyone, my name is Tyler and this week on the Unity Particle Systems tutorial we will be talking about how to use and render meshes in your 3D particle effects. Uh, so for this week's kind of scene, um, I've reverted back to the default scene. I don't have the terrain or the terrain particles anymore because we don't need them. Instead I've set up a different kind of particle system. I've raced it a bit off the ground and the particles are just falling down. It's basically just a, a wide cone with zero speed. Uh, some additional particles being emitted with a smaller lifetime, a larger size so we can see the particles a bit more clearly, and then there's a, gra a gravity mort multiplier for a downwards force so we can see the particles kind of falling down. Um, the other thing that I've done is I've set up um, a mesh for, or a material for later on, so um, instead of using um, the default particle uh, material, we can use another material so we can see the meshes a little bit more clearly. I'll show you that a bit later on. And another thing that you should do if you haven't done so already is you should download the Angry Bots kind of example project from Unity. Um, if you already have Unity but you didn't decide to download the example project, you should be able to do so at their site. Um, so if you haven't done that, you should do so um, as soon as you can, I guess. Um, so I guess with that out of the way, uh, let's get started. So 3D meshes are basically like three representa re representations of 3D objects um, in most kind of game systems. They're basically groups of 3D points connected by lines that form faces and they're used to represent 3D objects. So unlike particles, which are kind of 2D textures, um, and they're usually kind of point 2D textures, uh, Meshes can be 3D, so if you want to represent kind of more complicated particles, you can usually go to meshes. But do be aware that this kind of puts a strain on the system because you're creating 3D objects almost out of nowhere, and it's not preloaded by um, by your computer. So do be careful. Do be a bit careful when using those. So how do you do this? Well, you go over to the render, and then instead of having a billboard, um, you can just select mesh, and then Unity will automatically spawn default uh, particles for you to use. Now you can see which mesh that uh, Unity is using for your particles right here. Right now we're using a cube particle and as you can see the default uh, particle material kind of doesn't really cover the cube completely so let's use the material that we set up earlier. Let's see if we can find it real quick. There it is. And as you can see that um, that uh, covers the cube completely. This is basically just, uh, let's go to it real quick. So this is basically just a uh, additive uh, shader. You can just go down here when creating one and hit additive. Uh, and then it just has a flat uh, gray texture over it. So it kind of just covers the cube completely. Um, so if you're wondering how I did that, that's how I did that. Um, but you can kind of use any uh, kind of like covered texture um, that you want. I just chose that one because it was easy. Um, so you can change which uh, uh, mesh that you're using over here. If you click on this little dot thing, you can see all of the meshes that are in currently in your project, and then the Angry Bots project has quite a few meshes. Meshes actually, let's change it to. Let's see if I can find it real quick. A little bit more interesting object. I can just use a chair. And since you can see that we're using a uh, additive uh, shader, it looks kind of weird. It's almost like a transparent ghost uh, ghost chair, and that's because we're using um, the particle shader. Now, for some objects, for more like realistic objects, it's probably better to use the material that was set up with that object. So let's do that uh, real quick. If I remember correctly, this one is called furniture, and there we go. Now you can see that the, it's more, a little bit more clearly uh, a chair. So if you're using, uh, there's two kind of things, ways that you can use 3D meshes for particle systems. It's one you can use, um, use them to uh, you basically have access to meshes that either you've created or your art, your 3D artists have created, like rocks or chairs, for example. Um, and if you want to create particle systems with those, you can, and they're a bit more like realistic, and you can use the assets available to you. The other um, reason why you would want to use 3D meshes is you can kind of use uh, simple 3D meshes to kind of create interesting uh, particle effects by manipulating the textures for those particles. And I'll be going over that a little bit later, but this is kind of a brief introduction to how you use meshes and some of the problems you can come run into. So uh, for now, we're going to do the first route where we're just kind of taking meshes that were already created and then putting them in our particle systems to do something kind of nifty. So now that we've got that done, another thing that you can do is you can have multiple meshes in your particle system. So if you click this little uh, plus sign over here, it'll add another mesh that you can select. So let's go all the way down and then just do a cube. But the, the material that, the same material will be applied to all of the meshes, so you should be aware of what's going on there. So this doesn't look particularly nice because that material wasn't exactly designed to be applied to that cube. So let's 
uh, remove that mesh and then keep it with our chairs. Um, so I guess we should move on to some of the kind of problems that you can run into. Um, one of the things you can kind of have probably already notice is that the chair is kind of spawning in an interesting rotation. That can happen depending on the rotation of the ob of the actual of the actual 3D model. Um, so you can always kind of fix that by uh, changing the start rotation um, over here, but be aware that it might not always uh, completely fix your problem as. Unity kind of doesn't particularly know what to do in some cases. So that's a problem that you can run into. Another problem that you can run into is alpha issues. If you're trying to have um, your particles kind of um, gain or lose transparency over time, depending on your shader, Unity either will or will not allow that. If you're using more kind of standard objects, um, that have a different shader other than the particle shaders here, you won't be able to modify the transparency so they'll just kind of pop and pop out of existence. So that can be um, somewhat of a problem and you'll have to kind of manipulate the material or you should probably create a new material that's similar to the material that was on the object before but a little bit more friendly for particles. But um, that's about it for 3D meshes. Um, if you have any questions, uh, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. I'll be going into 3D meshes a little bit more next week and so we can see how you can do uh, 3D kind of emitter, 3D mesh emitters and then go into a little bit more detail on why you would want to use meshes. So uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next week.